Okay, here we are this morning, slap in the middle of the road here at these two nice little uh, units here. They are quite dirty. We're not doing anything on the roofs. We're just going to try to be brighten up this trim, brighten up this white siding, and get this all cleaned up. We got some lichen growth growing over here. There are two more identical buildings, um, one in one location on the street down here, and then uh, a couple blocks over. So we're going to be doing all four of these today. Let's take a look at what we're doing here. Got a lot of uh, algae here growing on the side. Nice and easy. We'll clean this up up around the vents. Good some uh, good opportunity for some before and after photos. Trim all cleaned up all the way back. Look how dark that is over there. So we'll be working. Uh, we'll be working the bleach this morning. Get this place all cleaned up, and then we'll move on. We'll move on to a couple areas. So something that's interesting about this, people are always wondering how I find jobs. I did not necessarily market uh, with mailers or yard signs or anything here. All winter long plowing, I pass these places. And all winter long, I noticed how dirty they were. So I kept looking, I kept stopping, just seeing if I could find anything. Like there's a sign here, it doesn't say what the name of the place is. It doesn't have a number to call. So I just kept stopping by, stopping by, hoping I would see someone. One day I saw some guys that were cutting trees after a snowstorm. Uh, this this limb had broken on the building sometime in February, March. And uh, I stopped in and I was like, this guy kind of looks like he could be a property manager. So I stopped and gave him a card, said, hey, I'd love to wash these buildings. He goes, yeah, man, I'm going to pass you along. They're looking to have it done. Zilch, never heard nothing. So now we're in July, two weeks ago. I'm like, man, I should go and just see what's going on over there. Pulled in over here, nothing. Still no signs, still no property managers, nothing. So I just sat right here. I parked my truck right here and I just rolled my windows down and I sat. Some lady came out of the unit over there like moments after was walking in the mailbox. I got out, shot her a nice smile, introduced myself, told her what I wanted. said, I need a number for property manager. I want to clean this place up. She goes, thank God. I wish somebody would. Found out that within two seconds, it was a friend of mine. I just didn't know. I didn't know that his family owned all these properties. Literally told her, I was like, man, if I had known that, months ago i would have just shot him a text message before i even pulled out of here i shot him text messages said hey i didn't know that your family owned these buildings i've been trying to figure it out for months shot him a price here we are a week later so um make sure people know what you do they didn't even know that i own this business i mean i've been cool with the guy for years we went to school together and stuff like that but we're not like close um but it would have been nice you know it would have been nice if he just knew so talk to people get out there you see a property that you want go after it because you know if you see that it needs to be done they're probably looking for someone so this all could have been a lot easier um but <laughs> we're here now so let's get all started here so let's make this interesting today i have used this um sutner gun in the past this is a sutner 2305 i believe yep sutner 2305 with an m5 twist this one is for seven to 12 gallons per minute i know some guys say they like to slap the uh the tighter uh m5 but this is the one that i have the only other one i have is a two to three gallon per minute um, i have used this in the past i don't like it that's why you guys always see me using this this is the yg 1365 um, ss this is the stainless steel one this is all stainless internals um so what we're going to do here is take a look we're going to wash one building with the blue gun and we're going to wash one building with the orange gun and we're just going to take a look and see which one we like better um i am going into it a little bias um you know this one is my this is this is my unit right here i love this thing um as you can see it's getting some nice wear and tear on it um i've used this constantly every single day for those of you that don't know this gun is rated for 350 psi we are using it on our 3500 psi pressure washer in order to do that we have this k7 <clears throat> this k7 a loader here and we have it it's pressure sensitive and uh it is dialed down to about a thousand psi if you're using a tight tip when you're open flow with the blue gun you're getting about 500 psi at the gun so i think that uh it's obviously rated for it's obviously rated or it can handle much more than it's rated for um, i haven't had any issues with it of course if you ever have a malfunction with your unloader things could get a little dicey but i like to drive fast and take chances and this thing is really helping me fly through my days so you know we'll take the punches as they come if i gotta lose a hand or a finger or an arm or something like that you know maybe it's worth it who knows let's get going okay we're all clicked in here turn the bleach on all right 
Got our hose all stretched out. We're gonna start with this building first here. We're gonna start with the blue gun. Okay, here we are. We'll start on this side of this building. Now this is soap mode. So because it's going through a couple 90s uh, to bypass, to pull past the injector, to pull the bleach and the soap, the stream is not as strong. So we'll look at this right now. We gotta wait for our soap to come through. We'll soap this side and then we'll rinse. I'll show you the difference. There's the soap coming through, okay? We'll show you the difference in the stream. Now this is really nice because the trigger control, you can just change at an instant. It's very fluid if I want to get up and go right up to the gable end here. I don't have to stop what I'm doing. I don't have to stop the flow of the machine. Um, I don't have to get my hands wet. And then as I get down here, I can just open up to a fan spray. The fan spray is really nice. It actually really helps you conserve. You're not getting that full eight gallon per minute. You're not getting all that suction when you're on a fan spray. Right here, you know, I don't think you're getting eight gallon per minute on the bypass. I'd be, you know, I mean, I'm 100% I'm sure that you're not. But what you are doing is you're getting full suction on that soap bar. When you get down here, now you're getting less and less. So you can really control your bleach your bleach usage depending on what you're trying to hit and it just becomes so flawless and so easy look and there's so much power even in the bypass mode that i can get all the way up here we're not even fully closed we still got a little bit of fan open and then that's full bore get everything nice and coated get these windows we'll switch to rinse wait for the beep Give it a second, we'll let that ball valve turn. And I got about 150. Oh, let's see, this is 50, there's 50, that's 100. So there's 200 feet here. Um, and this is obviously still got the bleach in the line. As soon as we start opening up the gun here, we're gonna be getting straight water. So now that that ball valve's open, we'll bleed out the line, hit some of these uh, windows and shutters. I like to get right up under the sills there. And that's probably pretty good we'll wait just like that we're clean already flushed out within just a, a matter of seconds i think it takes about eight seconds or something like that so now we'll start rinsing from the top down and you'll be able to see the difference in the flow between rinsing and the soap look at that much much more flow get right up there we'll clean out up onto the trim piece start over here on that gable end work our way down the other side we're gonna be able to rinse this whole thing just standing still right here don't like to flood the gable ends but you definitely do want to rinse them they like to get nice and black i don't ever worry about acs in the window they sit outside in thunderstorms they sit outside uh in the wet season and weekly rains and all day rains what i don't do is hammer them because you know they're going to get a little wet that's normal look at that just a matter of minutes i mean matter of minutes we got this whole side soaked in just another minute or two we'll have this whole side rinsed Again, this is about 500 PSI. And that is coming out of the unloader. That's where the gauge is. Once you get through the friction loss of 200 feet of hose and everything else, we're probably not really pushing 500 here. 300, 400, I've, I, I did test it when I first got the machine, but it's more useful for me for setting things up when it's right at the pump. So I leave it there. I'm sure if I uh, was to pop it here at the end of the gun here, we could probably get a true reading. I guess it would probably be around 400, you know, 
you can definitely do the math you can figure out friction loss nice rinse you never want to rush the rinse we're getting way more water than we need and that's good if you are someone that is constantly having issues with um callbacks for windows i want you to watch everything i just did again start from the bottom and work your way down when the last things i do all the time every single time is once i've hit everything go back above the window tray seal or above the window seal tray i should say and hit those windows again that's where all that soap collects and it'll spill over and hit the windows just one more time look at that just push all that right out of there windows one more time push all that out of there windows one more time you'll be good to go so there we go look how clean that is beautiful beautiful it's really nice about this gun too uh what i was kind of saying on the other side of the building is the different options right that tip of your fingers i mean i just love you can just fly right through so fluidly from one task to the next get everything coated look how quickly you can coat this get in here behind the screen right here behind the screen i got the black going off that door pillars Come right over here we'll finish up on this side here just big just a big cone spray i mean you, your coverage is unbelievable covering this whole building get all this trim here windows you're right on those windows bada bing i mean you just soak this whole thing in like you know 30 seconds We are absolutely cream cheese through here. Look how white that is. Boom. This side here. We'll swap out our gun and let's go start on this building here. And we'll just have to be careful. These two corner windows are open, but I got to do what I got to do. Let's go. Okay, here we are. Backside of building number two. 2305. I did not change any settings with the pressure. We're on soap mode. Get some soap flowing through here. And it should uh, kick up. Uh, on flow and pressure just as the blue gun does once we switch to rinse so our soap is coming through let's see here so we can go to start up high here i mean you obviously get great flow out of this thing everything nice and coated You just have a piece of trim here, bang, all the way down. Fan it around a little bit, see with the blue gun. I'd probably be playing with that trigger a little bit. Want to get some different flow. All right, let's try a different setting here. So this is why I don't use it. Hold on a second. Is that fan? No, it's more screen. Hold on. There's a little bit of a more fan spray. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the flow here. The power's nice. It's just not as, in my opinion, user friendly. This gun is rated for 5,000 PSI. But like I said, it's uh, dialed down. I didn't change any settings at the pump. Get back behind here. I didn't change any settings at the pump. Same settings as the blue gun. Maybe shutters. Bang. Okay. So fan right through here. Good coverage, that's for sure. But I just, you know, wish I could go back and forth. I'm interested to see the knockdown power on this. When we go to rinse. Uh, there's not a whole lot to cover here uh left to do here so let's go to mix let's go to rinse so empty at the line then a soap in this section here okay open bore okay. okay 
we should be on water now. All right, let's uh, start up high. We have a great stream coming out of there. Again, no setting to change. This one kind of feels like it might have a little bit more punch. This is the 7 to 12 gallon per minute M5. Um, you could definitely run this higher. I mean, I don't, I don't think I'd want to be house washing anyway, you know. You don't want to be going up to that 1200, 1500 PSI range. Maybe it'll give you a little bit more punch if you're working with some lichen or stuff. But right here, around that 500, this is, uh, this is pretty nice. Overall, I mean, it's not like a huge fan of it in general. And again, for no other reason other than it's just a little less convenient to use. I mean, this is pretty good. This is nice. Good knockdown power. Good rinsing. Okay, we did it. We got soap here, so that's good. I was worried that we might have not. You hear that? You hear that slap? Definitely a little bit more punch than the blue gun at the same setting but that blue gun is just like it's just open bore it's like a fire nozzle so this is a little bit more controlled and it, it siphons that water kind of into one area maxes out that pressure a little bit so you can hear that listen to that getting behind these gas utility meters here Heading under here. Stream's a little neater. The uh, the blue gun a little bit more wide, a little bit more open. There is a uh, screw slot on the back. That's like a Phillips looking uh, big screw. You can adjust the bore a little bit. You can control your pattern a little bit, um, but it doesn't get as tight as this. Some lichen on these shutters. Really nice. The handle is not as comfortable. That blue gun is incredibly comfortable. It's uh, ergonomically sound. They did a really good job designing that. Um, I've only been using this one, obviously, for the last couple minutes here. And my hand is cramping. It's just not, not as comfortable, that's for sure. Uh, I put a lot of hours. I've got 87, I want to say 87 hours on that pressure washer now. And uh, probably a good 80 of them are with uh, that blue gun. So I have a, a lot of time with my hand on that blue gun. And I'm constantly thinking how comfortable it is. This is pretty uncomfortable. Probably the other seven hours is, you know, a little bit running the surface cleaner lately and um running the the other st that i have um that's attached to the lance for doing uh the concrete and the block and stuff like that so not all that uh not all that comfortable this gun I definitely would not want to be making this as of right now i don't think i want to be making this my primary go-to only because i'm putting a lot of hours in uh, you know washing houses and stuff like that and just a couple minutes and I already am, am feeling it so if you got to be doing this all day long all week long it's I don't know if it's my I don't know if it's comfortable I mean, what's nice about using a pressure washer and doing the downstream is even if you missed a couple sections or just didn't dwell long enough or maybe just didn't get coated as much as you wanted it to um the pressure the pressure will make up for you know maybe you were a little light on sh or something but it's uh not enough not enough pressure to really cause any damage you're still in a good house washing threshold.
I'm not doing like a real pressure wash here, but it is cleaning up some of this darkness. Again, you know, 500 or less PSI coming out. The same, same setting we were using on the house. You know, we're not here to pressure wash, but I just want to try it out and uh, look at that, it's pretty cool. It can definitely make a difference. Someone was out here playing with a yellow tip or something. Look, you can definitely take a layer of that off, lighten that up a little bit. Some dark stuff in here. So nice. All in all, you know, it's not a bad little gun here. Just, uh, I don't think it'll be a staple in my washing. I think it's, uh, you know, this is the most that I've used it. Now I know that if I get to a job and there's some lichen, <clears throat> I don't have to uh, go and change the settings or whip out the pressure washer or, um, I'm sorry, the turbo nozzle or, you know, anything like that. You can knock lichen off a brick and off the siding. This is low pressure option here. It's really nice. So it's more of an extra tool in the toolbox and a backup gun. But it has not it has not stolen my heart yet. A little bit of lichen up here. Beautiful day here in Lake George, New York. So, let's take a look at this right here. Pretty neat. Cat, cat, cat. Gang, gang, gang. No idea what time it was or what time it is. We'll check that in a minute. We got here at 8 o'clock. Walked around here with the property guy. Then we went and looked at the other two properties. By the time I got back, messing around here, maybe 8, 38, 45 we started would be probably the best guess oh actually i made a phone call right when i started so i can check that <clears throat> I can check that. Let's see. okay all in all this one is still my go-to we're gonna be using this the rest of the day this one's not bad it's definitely got its uses good backup gun um definitely not as comfortable i don't think um not as convenient having to twist the tip i mean these are little things but when you're going you're gunning all day long um the least bit of inconvenience you can have the more comfortable you can be i mean this is this is great so we'll be sticking with this one this is a great backup to have um one of these days uh maybe over the winter i might get two extra ones of these each and take them apart i want to see what the differences are some people say that the 350 uh, psi rating is not necessarily what this is actually rated for what this can actually handle it's more of a safety thing you know this is this has a use this agriculture wash down stuff it is just it's just not made for high pressure but that doesn't mean that it can't handle it um i don't know what do you guys think let me know if anyone's got an opinion out there they're relatively similar in stature um you know could this potentially have the same exact rating as this? It just doesn't. I don't know. We'll find out one day. Who knows? I got the big bad yard sign out over there. We're ready to rock and roll on the other place. So it's about 11 o'clock now. So it's about 11 o'clock now. 
So I'd say about two hours, 215 per building. Some messing around, some hose pulling, some stuff like that. So really not too bad. Let's go do two more. 1203 and pulling out. We're all done with this one. Okay. Nice and cleaned up. About an hour. I didn't want to record this one because I wanted to kind of zip right through here. Let's go ahead. Drop a yard sign. Grab our stake. Sign. We got one more to do. Sent out some mailers, some postcard mailers last week. And you always know when they hit because the phone starts ringing. So we're gonna try to finish this up. If everything goes as well as these last couple ones, we'll be out of here by one at this other place, this other one we're going to. Might go quote some jobs. Go home play with the doggies. All right. Okay. Number four of four. Light, I mean, it's pretty moldy, but it's pretty light, except for right through here. Just shy of one o'clock and we are done. I know it's a little loud here. Can you hear me? All right, let's go ahead and uh, we're done for the day. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, rinse out our bleach. Or uh, sorry, rinse out our injector. So we're gonna move that to water. Okay. And we'll go ahead and we'll turn our soap on. Light went off, soap is on. Like you see that hose go nice and clear. We know that the soap and the cam is out of there. We'll go rinse back on. And now we can move away from the motor. We're just gonna come over here. Do 20 seconds or so. We know that the bypass is flushed out. See a little bit of soap come out. Now we know our line is flushed. We know our gun is flushed. Good to go. All right, I like to think that uh, I got some man hands, but that orange gun, I swear I'm blistering on the inside of my hand here and like up in here just from, it's just different, you know, it's just different. It's uh, not a huge fan of it, but it definitely does rub my hand the wrong way. Um, we're all done. We're all clean here. We're going to put a yard sign out and we're done. I know some people are going to want to know, what did you charge for this? I charged $400 per building. That's $1,600 done by one o'clock. Yes, it is kind of cheap. Probably could have done another 100, 150, maybe even 200 per building, 600 per building. Um, but these guys own other buildings in the surrounding area, hotels, motels. Um, so it's more about the connection. Um, it's one o'clock. 1600 bucks this is in my hometown like 10 minutes from my house so i barely even use a gallon of gas six bucks 650 around here and then bleach on the whole day i might have used 20 gallons uh let's say i'm doing five dollars a gallon which is definitely high but it's just easy math five times five 25 bucks um or i'm sorry let's say five times how many gallons do you think let's take a look actually because i'm kind of just guessing 20, 10. Might have used 50 bucks. 50 bucks in bleach. Made 1600 bucks. I mean, even if I use 500 bucks in bleach, which I didn't, I mean, it's, it's a good day. So when it comes to pricing and stuff like that, I always look at, you know, could I have charged more? Yeah, absolutely. And then they could have told me no, but charged appropriately, um, charged responsibly. You know what I mean? And um, profit, profits there the profits there um you don't need to go too crazy you know you don't need to be the highest price guy out there um making relationships everyone's happy on paid they're happy so we're good to go